I'm going to show you the best place to farm thermite. I've got a fair amount now, so I feel like this is a pretty good spot. And definitely the only spot where I've had it drop reliably. We are, of course, in the boss room at the end of Chapter 2, I think it is. So you will have need, will have need to have defeated the big mechanical fire boss. I think it's called, like, the Fire King Fuco or something like this. Um, and then we're just going to head on straight into the cave directly behind it. Now, the enemies on the way to the main mine here have not dropped me any thermite. I'm going to kill them in this video just in case one happens to do it now. The way that this, this has mostly worked for me has been that the thermite drops in the large opening. These guys here have not dropped me a single one. Even though they are still dressed up in the same way and obviously are still miners, it just kind of seems like these guys here don't want to drop it if they do at all. Keep an eye out as we go through, just in case it does for this particular run. But I've been through here probably four or five times at this point. And I've definitely, generally speaking, got at least one to two thermite per run, which is useful. But these guys at the front, as you can see, sawtooth wheel. So if you want to make this a bit faster for yourself, you sh should probably skip these guys out, to be honest. Like, ampule. So these guys, kind of at the entrance, really do not want to drop a thermite. So where I usually do get it to drop is in this larger cave just afterwards. Now it may be quicker to come from the other side. There is another stargazer on the other end. But I prefer starting up on this platform because then we have to climb less ladders. And that just feels slightly better to me. Obviously you guys can kind of try it from both angles. Whichever side you prefer is obviously the best one. So we're going to run across, take you out. Make sure you roll after kind of fighting that guy because one above is going to keep throwing crap at you. This bit here is the most dangerous. So just make sure you're pretty quick about taking this guy out because bombers can be annoying. You want to run over to this guy and try and get behind him. And take this one on. Obviously, I'm not doing too much damage with my uh, dagger here because I'm kind of just testing out weapon styles. I'm kind of just having a go at this here. And then we can drop off with this one. Missed, unfortunately. Usually we, we can get in with a drop attack. Make it a little bit quicker when you get down here. This one over at the end. Careful to the right, because one's just going to have stood up. It's a bit close to the barrel, so we need to be careful of you. Star fragment. And then the last enemy that you can farm for these... It's just over this way. Once that's done, all you need to do is return to the previous Stargazer and you can rinse and repeat as much as you'd like.